Grab a cup of something yummy and let's go shopping together. Hey, it's Care. Welcome to my tick at the lake. I'm going to show you my Krabby Crafter wish list on Amazon for a couple of reasons. First of all, I know I'm not alone in this. By the way, I know I'm not alone in anything. There's approximately seven, eight billion people on the planet somewhere in there. We're never alone in anything. I know I'm alone in this when I say, no, you're not. <laughs> Welcome. Krabby Crafter is in the house. Anyway, the reason I'm showing you this is because I am always amazed at what I don't know. And one of the things I don't know is all the cool stuff that's out there. Jean Bainey and I were chit-chatting in comments about watching a video and if somebody uses something that we don't have or that we've never seen or that we think we need, we run right over to Amazon and put it on a wish list or put it in our cart or buy it right now or whatever. And I thought it would be fun because we don't all watch the same videos, obviously, and so I want to show you what I have learned about so far. You'll see on this left side here that uh, I've got truckloads of wish lists, lots of wish lists, and we're just going to look at the Krabby Crafter one today. This is the only one that's shared. I will put a link in it in the description below so that if you see something here, you can go back and find it. Um, also, I know that other crafters have posted their wish lists as a way to help support the channel. Sometimes people don't want to join and stay on Patreon or they don't shop on Etsy, but an Amazon wish list is one way, another way to support a channel by sending your favorite crafters supplies to continue making videos, toys to play with and entertain ourselves and you all at the same time. So there's lots of reasons behind the video. I added this one and if, if I can remember who I saw use the, the product, I will, I will certainly mention it because as most of you are aware, I'm all about giving credit where credit is due. Stealing ideas is just ignorant. There, I've said it. So this one in the <clears throat> wish list today, three piece circle hole punch, and they're just teeny little boogers. They're tiny, tiny little, tiny little holes because I watched uh, Carrie at Carrie's Mixed Media Art make the most realistic faux tickets that I've ever seen. And she used a tiny little hole punch to make the notches in the tickets. Beautiful, very cool video. These two dual tip dot markers, brilliant. They just make dots. How fun is that? You can do other things with them, draw, color, create blah 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 but they have these nice round tips that depending on how much pressure you use gives you small medium and large dots that's fantastic i'm pretty sure meg journals is where i saw these just a few days ago so much easier than getting out the paint and using the round eraser on a pencil or trying to make perfect circles with a small paint brush or we don't all have the little stencil that makes dots. I just think this is a grand idea. And I had no idea there was such a thing as dot markers and now I have two such kits in in my cart. This just tickled me skinny. When I was looking for something else, I found offensive-ish crayons. Off-color crayons, if you will. All the shitty humor of offensive crayons, but Karen approved. With colors like Safe Space Sienna, Child Bride Blue, Black, and more. I just think this is hilarious. I love the graphic. The It's it's not too super spicy. See, there's only, here there's only one pepper. But I love that graphic with flipping the bird. This is just right up my tomboy raised around sailors grandma owned a bar alley <laughs> i just love this we bring out the semi worse than you too funny i've been watching a lot of the creative cove i recently discovered her channel and if you're looking to learn how to sketch or draw or sketch or draw better watch her videos she's an amazing teacher she makes it look 
effortless and oh so doable. Her videos are so inspiring. You just want to drop everything you're doing and go do what she's doing. She calls them doodles. I politely disagree with that. They are they're little bits of artwork that she does, but she has fun with it and she she makes it look very easy. And again, she's a good teacher, so she makes sure to tell you what she's doing and why and how to do it easier, better, faster, etc. Of course, the go-to pens are the Micron fine liners for that kind of sketch work because they usually come in a multi-pack from 00, 0, 0.005 millimeter up to one millimeter and a all the sizes in between. And I, I've had several sets of Micron pens and I haven't sketched in a very long while. I did a Inktober a few years ago before the kerfuffle and believe I got myself a set way back then. But it's been several years now and I only have one or two left. So I treated myself not to the Sakura Pigma Microns but to the Stadler brand. I didn't know Stadler had a sketch set and I ordered those instead of the Micron and quite quite like them. I'm sure I'll do a video with them in them one of these days. They're they seem slipperier, uh, faster, smoother might be a good word to use too. Where the Microns tend to they catch a little bit. There's friction when you're doing cross hatching or stippling or long lines or fast lines. They feel kind of gritty to me versus the Stadler, which are just smooth as butter. And they come in a fantastic little carrier case that serves as a holding tray. Brilliant. It's just brilliant all the way around. I'll, I'll do a video on that one of these days. These are fun. I recently did a video talking about Marjolaine Baston's work. Every bit as beautiful as Edith Holden, a newer, a newer Edith Holden, if you will. She was really big in the 80s and 90s and is still doing all kinds of different things, just not the stickery stuff and the stationary stuff that she did way back in the early days of scrapbooking and stamping. I found a planner, she does planners every year, so I found a, a 2001 planner for $2.50 and free shipping. It, it, oh, it's beautiful, that's in another video. I'll try to remember to link all these below too so you don't have to go all over looking for stuff if you want to look this stuff up. But when I was looking for that, I found these classic books illustrated by Marjolaine Baston. I hope I'm saying her name right. It may be Baston. I don't know. But there's Jane Eyre, which I've been on a huge Jane Eyre kick for several months now. And to find one, I believe are these, are these poppies that are on the cover here? of Jane Eyre, illustrated by Marjolaine Baston. Oh my god. This one has hydrangeas on it. Pride and Prejudice. Beautiful. There's another one with lilacs on it. Gorgeous. And Doki Doki Forest and I were chit-chatting on comments on YouTube and she ordered, pre-ordered, because it's not out yet, the Jane Austen fan escape room book illustrated by Marjolaine Baston. Too cool. Too cool. Too cool. Let's take a look and see inside if they show us inside. I don't remember. They do, but not much. So you get to read the book and, and be accompanied by these beautiful illustrations. I bet each one is just an absolute treasure. And I see these becoming like the Edith Holden books are. Once junk journalers discover Marjolaine Baston and her gorgeous, gorgeous illustrations, they'll be buying these books up too and tearing them apart. You watch, mark my words, it might be a few years, but it'll happen. Yes, it will. Dark Ephemera, Scary Vintage Aesthetic Image Collection. Oh yeah, again, right up my alley. They don't really give you much. Junk journals, what it's for, paper craft, decoupage, scrapbooking, collage. I already love, there's loads of skulls, scary creatures, icky things, demons and 
gargoyles, and I just think it would be great fun to play with. Dark Ephemera, not just for Halloween. I love these sepia pigment. So instead of black, black, a nice sepia set of sketch pens would be awesome. Black goes with everything. Bright, grays, vintage, black goes with everything. But wouldn't it be fun to do some sepia sketches for your vintage junk journals? I also saw Michelle at Creative Cove using graphic, G-R-A-P-H-I-K line pens, drawing pens, slash markers. And they have colored version and, and the black version. Like Microns, only not Sakura. They're Derwent. Pretty colors. Very fun colors. They come in 01, 02, 04. This is the... Oh, this is a grayscale. Oh, currently unavailable. Of course. Two ones are unavailable, but threes are available in those nice, bright, fun colors. But there's only six in stock. Better get yours now. I love the grayscale. That's awesome. Some of these things are just in here because, because, easily distracted by dogs. Yes, indeed. Peace, loving dogs. Please. Tell your dog I said hi. I was telling Janet Nash the other day in a chat on YouTube. I can't remember people's names or who they are or where I know them from, but I'll never forget your dog's name or your cat's. Probably your cat's name, I'll, but in order. I'll remember your dog's name. I'll remember your cat's name. I probably won't remember your name. <laughs> dogs, because people suck. During the 20. 20 elections there was a house down the street that had a political sign all decked out red white and blue and it said dogs 20 and 20 because people suck <laughs> and i thought yes i need that i've never had a political sign in my yard ever but i would put that one in my in my yard yes i would i think i need this tattooed somewhere you know what i like about people they're dogs mm -hmm. that's me Dog sticker, dog sticker, dog sticker, paws sticker, dog sticker. <laughs> Do you see a pattern here anywhere? Oh, look. Christmas stickers. Because Christmas is fun, too. Baby animals. There's a puppy. At least two puppies and a panda. Oh, Leanne and I love pandas. If you ever, ever, ever need a bit of a boost and you need a little giggle and a, and a boost in your day, go on YouTube and look up pandas playing. It's like watching drunk toddlers. They're hilarious. Weebles wobble and they always fall down. They're clumsy and oafy and rolly and just hilarious to watch. Sweet, sweet panda. That's how we would ease the tension in the ER when we work there together. Look, here's an entire book of puppy stickers. Yep, yep, yep. Need it, need it, want it. Rub on transfer stickers. These are a little bit different, obviously, than regular stickers, peel and stick stickers. These are rub on transfers. And they have, they add their own bit of beauty to any page or project. So this one is. Oh, what does this one have? This one has all different colored stuff. I just picked random. This watercolory. So pretty. I, I quite like this. What is the other one? A little more detailed, less watercolory. Look at those lavender bits. That's so gorgeous. So pretty. Just little bits of fun things. Those cotton, cotton bulbs are awesome. Blooms, cotton blossoms. I don't know what they're called, what the right term is, but they are awfully pretty. So I have several of those. Here are those quote unquote vintage wooden rubber letters. I don't know why they have to say that because uh, they're not vintage. They're new. Bought brand new today from Amazon. They're not vintage. They look vintage. 
I'm a very literal person. I'm not sure if you've noticed that, but I'm very literal. And if it says vintage, well, damn, it better be vintage. If it's not vintage, say vintage like or faux vintage or if you like vintage, this looks vintage versus the eBay people selling them as vintage because they double the price. This is $12. I found one the other day, exact same box, exact same set on Amazon for $9.99, I think it was. And you can go to eBay in the same exact set they're selling as a vintage item for 25 bucks. These look fun. Don't remember who I saw using these. Might have been Meg at Meg Journals, maybe, where you just put a little bit on and rub it with your finger or rub it with a little bit of water. And it's kind of like Stabilo, sort of, but they're crayons. They're bulkier and, and they leave a bigger line and obviously come in all these fun colors. Dog pattern scrapbook. Paper, yes, please. Double-sided. I, I need some double-sided scrapbooking stuff. Everything I have is single-sided and there's so much fun stuff you could do with double-sided. I love these vintage, again, they're not vintage, they're brand new, but the old-fashioned wooden stamps, botanical, not necessarily botanical. These beautiful branches would go great with the birdhouses that we're sketching with, sketching along with the Creative Cove, with my dark fairy tale themed project. Branches go on anything. It doesn't have to be a botanical. So I would get these just for the branches. Of course, you can make stamps and you can doodle that. I mean, that would be an easy doodle, but it's so much faster to stamp out a few than doodle a few. Um, I'm all about speed. Here's another one of those vintage kits. This picture makes it look more vintage, but again, 13 bucks. And it's the old fashioned typewriter letter style. Very cool. In the cool box. Does this one have numbers? It does have numbers. That's awesome. Or botanical stamps. I love this little jar that you can put put your little goodies in. You can make a little floral arrangement in a mason jar. Cute, cute. They had cuter ones before, but I'll take I'll take this even though there's poodles on it. Look at that little Yorkie. So fun. Look at those faces. They had some beautiful paw prints. I have it all over some of my old dog stuff watercolor paw prints on a craft paper colored background. Very cool. They don't make that one anymore. Aline's collage sealer. See all buying options? That makes me nervous. I love these super cool circular paper clips. I have other ones. I hope you can see my clicks. I don't know if I set that on the screen record or not. Silver and like a brass vintagey color. And then look at all the fun purple, gray, silver, rose gold, blah, blah, gold. These are, these look like vinyl covered versus just the plain metal silver ones. Beautiful. These plain metal silver ones, you can spray with your alcohol inks, put them in a little baggie and spray with alcohol inks to jazz them up a little bit and you can have your own colors. Thank you because they have paw prints on them. French script stencil. I think that would be fun to have. Use your texture paste in it or paints or inks. Very pretty. These look fun. Little tiny postcards with the owls and the critters and the vintage and the old fashioned red, white, and blue and stamps. Just over the size of a business card. Oh, here. Three inches by, um, by three and three quarter. Oh, so they're a little bit bigger than I thought. Still kind of tiny, but they're so cute. Fun to play with. Easier than making them. These color burst powders just look like a party waiting to happen. I want to say Shinuki Art has used these that I've seen. And it's just, just what it sounds like. They're, it's powder and you just squirt a little bit of the powder and then spray it with water and they just burst to life. They are so fun. Only thing that I don't like about these is that wherever that first bit is, it always leaves a dark spot. So you always know where it came. Like it just, it's like a stain. It's almost like a, it's almost like a glitch. Like that shouldn't happen. I'm not sure if there's a way to avoid it or not. Hole punch. This little collection of hole punch, another paw print, because I need one of those. I have a paw print. I think I have a tiny leaf. I'd give away the butterfly, but these little flower ones would just come in so handy. And that little smiley face, he's kind of cool. The pieces that you punch out come in handy. Very handy. 
I've gotten all of my punches from thrift store shopping. Who's surprised? These are fun. I think I've seen Natasha at Treasure Books use these a lot. You just crimp them on the ends of ribbons to make ribbons attachable to things or to each other or make closures. They're showing it all here for, for jewelry making, but for junk journaling, loads and loads of applications making book bling, spine dangles, like I said, closures, wraparounds. There's all kinds of uses for these pinch, crimp, clamp, and cord fasteners. Holy smackaroni, that's a mouthful too. 288 little postage stamp stickers. Look how fun. Lots of mushrooms and berries and hydrangeas and space and roses and birds. I just think this would be endlessly useful. Rock candy. Love it. Tim Holtz, if you've ever watched any of his live streams when he uses his products. Rock candy usually shows up here and there. I love Tim Holt stuff. What I hate about Tim Holt stuff is that everybody and their brother has to have it, has to use it, has to cram it in their in their books and that makes all of their stuff look the same. So I do, I have a couple Tim Holtz things and I love, again, I love what he does. Ideology Curiosities Halloween sticker book. Because of the dark side, it's, it's dark, funny, up my alley. Say it how it is, Diane Reevesley. She's hilarious. Her delusions kits are just a riot. Honey, I have heels higher than your standards. I love this lady. You are about to exceed the limits of my medication. <laughs> I just love that stuff. You would think that with all your multiple personalities, at least one would be likable. <laughs> oh, she's a hoot. Scrapbooking supplies. What do we got here? 192 pieces of what? What do we got going on? Oh, and it's currently unavailable. Well, that's always fun. Next. Tim Holtz, snarky word stickers. I love snark. Sarcasm, if you've not noticed yet, is my love language. I don't care who comes out with it, Diane Reesley or Tim Holtz or myself. If it's snarky, I'm in. Sepia, vintage ephemera sampler. This is fun. Just things to tear up, glue down, ephemera pack, craft paper, just because we don't all have enough of our own, right? We need some more stuff. Oh, look at all the little phrases and recipes. And this is the stuff we thrift for. So if you don't thrift and you're not buying our stuff on Etsy, you can buy it from Amazon. I wonder, it looks like it's pretty authentic. Some of this stuff you gotta watch. And when you're making vintage stuff, you gotta watch. If it, the flip side is bright white, it's a dead giveaway. And it shatters the illusion of, this is a 200-year-old book. Look at the bright white copy paper. It's like watching a movie, a, a fantasy movie or a sci-fi movie. And in the midst of that movie where the author or the creators have done such a good job with the story that you're willing to suspend your reality for a little while and go along with sci-fi, go along with the fantasy. But if there's a glitch in it, it's like hitting a brick wall. Like, bam! The, sh the illusion is shattered and the rest of the movie sucks after that. Once that illusion is, is shattered, you can't really get it back in that project, in that movie, in that book. Because then you're forever not trusting it anymore. Not willing to suspend your reality even for a moment because they, they made a mistake and you got to see behind the curtain that it's not a wizard after all. It's just an old man making noise on a speaker. Some more stickers. Tim Holtz Distress Crayons. Uh, the vintage colors. It just looks like they'd be fun to play with. Crayons that do a little bit more. You can smudge them with your finger. You can put them on things other than paper. It just seems like a fun thing to play with. More vintage scrapbooking stickers. Look at all the teal washi tape. I'm sorry, this is not washi tape. <laughs> Boy, would I have been bummed if I ordered this and said, oh, my teal washi tape's coming. They're stencils. Dipshitsky. Look at all these stencils for $12.59. Look at all these different patterns that you could use as backgrounds. Oh, this is, this is like a little trip to Disney for the imagination. They are, there's so much possibility in this $12.60 package. Wow. 
And they're a nice size. They're almost 8x8. Eight eight. You don't always have to use the 8x8. Eight eight. You can just use a little corner. Just a teeny little bit of it. Oh, they have bigger ones. Six by, oh, and smaller. Ooh, the 6x6 six six inches would be good, too. And that's only $10. And a few pennies. Wonderful. Washi tape. Oh, oh, look at me. I just love seahorses. They are the most gentle, delicate, innocent little creatures. I just think they're amazing. This is a wax seal stamp head. So you'd need, you'd need a holder for it. And this one comes with the moon and the stars. Beautiful rub rubber stamp of a nice, detailed, gorgeous seahorse. So pretty. If you ever watched them, watch a video. If you want to just relax for a few minutes, wow, they just, I don't know, I just think they're magical creatures. There's some washi tape. The rainbow, black and white, every color under the sun, except for, doesn't look like there's much purple. Purple stamp, stars, excuse me, and purple deer, because why not? Purple and blue polka dots. Oh, is that a purple heart or a black heart? Looks purple to me. Oh, there's some purple. So doing a color glue book and you want to do some page edging. There you go. $13.28. You're in. Or I'm sorry, $13.98 if you just want one time purchase. Shimmer powder. Firework. Burst. Let's go see how this works. You going to show me a picture? No. No pictures. Firework burst. This just looks like fun. And there's all kinds. Cosmic shimmer, pixie sparkles, purple, teal wash, lava red, shimmer, luna, paste, moonlight, pearl. Oh my god, there's just so many things we need. Here's another one. This is Silver Dream. Yes, please. Lavender Farm. I am a huge fan of lavender. Minte papers. Look at all those beautiful purples and teals together in the lavender and the little buckets. I just think this is so pretty. Little fences or windows or gates. So fun. And then of course when you look at this thing it shows you all these other things down here that you probably need. I also just put in my cart some colored pencils that I'd like to try because Again, watching Michelle at the Creative Cove, she's the only one I've seen her, unless they're professional colored pencil artists, that don't look like crayon. The way she mixes them and the way she works them, again, she makes it look so doable. So I threw in some uh, colored pencils to try again. I've tried them in the past, didn't really like them. Gonna try them again. These look fun. I see a lot of people using these precision tip applicator bottles for their art glitter glue application, more precise. So I thought that'd be cool to have. Washi tape, fall washi tape, specifically fall because look at yum, 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 yummy. Bruchot, crystal clear colors. This is just kind of like the color burst powders that we saw a little while ago. Same concept, I think. Just sprinkle them on, spatter with water and these way cool color effects happen. Kind of like watercolor effects without the watercolor. Right here on this box, my clicker, is what I'm talking about, those stains. Right there is where this the powder hit or the water hit first or whatever, and it makes a stain. Kind of, It kind of gives away the, the secrets, I think. Gorgeous dragonfly stamp. So, so pretty. And it looks rather large. Oh, let's see, what is it? Oh, not too bad. Almost four inches by five and a half. Not too, too bad. Oh, more dragonflies. Looky there. Let's look at what they have. Dragonflies. So gorgeous. Owls. Owl duct tape on a major owl kick lately. So awesome. Loving, loving, loving the owls and woodland stuff. So I have a five by seven gel plate in my wish list. I'm eating a tiny bit of crow here because I got myself a 12 by 12 jelly plate instead of buying one of every size they have. But I don't use it a lot because I, I have it stored away and it takes a long time to get out and it's kind of unwieldy and it's huge. But I can do any size paper 12 by 12 and under 
I can do index cards, I can do the tiniest of little tags, I can do everything and not have a border. So I stand by that purchase. A smaller one could be used for stamping. I can't use the 12 by 12 for stamping. A smaller one, I could do things quicker. I could just leave it out and do some quickie gel plate printing versus right now I have to have events. It's an, it's an event. I have two whole totes of gel plate tools, mark makers, etc., etc. So it all has to be hauled out. I have to make space for it. It's, it's an event, so I don't do it very much. So having a smaller one, I will admit, would be cool but I'm not going to buy 12. And this 5 by 7 one, I'm only going to use for small stuff because I don't like borders. I stand behind that too. More stencils. These are for painting walls and such, but of course us junk journalers would be all over it. Look at this one. This painty, textury, I don't know what that is, but I love it because I've not seen it everywhere before. Some great some wood grain. I love that. I just love it. Very, very cool. To have different stuff than everybody else. Frosted crystal, like that a lot. Leonardo da Vinci, love this, has a whole bunch of his sketches and whatnot. A CD-ROM full of da Vinci clip art. So you could throw some da Vinci things into your projects. I just think that's fantastic. Dog stencils, yes please. My kids have paws. Love is a four-legged word. Life is better with a dog. If you ever see things that are plural, life is better with dogs. Think of me. Because I always have multiple dogs. I never have just one. And most of the stickers or bumper stickers or t-shirts or whatever say dog. But life is better with a dog. Life is even better with more dogs. Dogs before dudes. Absolutely. Be the person your dog thinks you are. Here's some more dog stickers. The infinity symbol with the paw prints. Yes. Oh, so much fun. These are so cool. All you need is love and some dogs. <laughs> more dog stickers, stencils, more dog stencils. I apparently like that enough to add it to my cart four times. Four times. Three. That other one was a little bit different. Some beautiful purple washi tape. More purple washi tape. This is in there twice too. Decoupage paint for napkins. Well, it's a different product, but the same company, I think. I saw somebody else using this, and I thought it might be a nice change of pace from the Mod Podge. Look at this gorgeous fountain pen. I'm. Uh, this just leaves me speechless. <laughs> Can't get it. Should have got it. It's been in my list. It's been in there forever. I should have just got it. You know that non-buyer's remorse? Oh, I'll get it later. Oh, I'll get it later. Oh, I'll get it later. And now you can't get it. Ooh. I have a hot pot or whatever this is, instant pot. I would not put a Boston sticker on it, but I'd put that Boston sticker somewhere else. These are awesome. Matte medium comes in so handy. I don't have any. I'd love to have some. It's on my wish list. These life term journals were the cat's ass for a while everyone and their brother had to have these and now you can't get them anymore they came in the most gorgeous colors and they're wonderful journals this has been on my wish list since i was a fine art student dr martin's anything dr martin's inks are amazing but pretty pricey of course a little bit goes a long way but I, I have wanted one of these for I can't tell you how long. More fun stencils. Just different stuff. Different patterns. Clear stamps. Just miscellaneous. Love the little owl. There has to be a reason. I'm not sure why this is in here. Specifically, maybe just because it's a little bit of everything. Might be that chandelier. <laughs> Back to my Halloween and dark stuff. A rubber stamp. Just a rubber stamp. Date stamp would be pretty cool. I have one, but it's all girly and frilly and it has more bells and whistles than I need. I just want a date. Just the old-fashioned date. I love this. Everyone and their brother uses it, but it's because it's awesome. Want one, don't have one. These are fun stickers. And you can do so much with them. Make tags, make clusters, make tickets, and adorn your corner tucks and belly bands. And there is an endless use for this kind of sticker. Speaking of stickers, I bit the bullet and made a big 
Temu order. Not for crafting, but since I was there, I did order a few packets of stickers, so I'll have those to show you pretty quick. Tim Holtz's tiny attacher. I used to have a small stapler that had tiny staples. They don't make that anymore, so you have to bite the bullet and get a $20 Tim Holtz version. I saw Nina Ribina do napkin decoupaged onto canvas bags. Worked brilliantly. So I got these to make these and some tote bags. I thought they'd make great gift bags. Vintage washi, some Tim Holtz paper, more paw stickers. This vintage decoupage kit is awesome. And there's all different kinds, but it's super thin paper. I love this vintage Christmas stuff. This reminds me so much of being a kid at my grandma's. Have to have that one of these days. Charms collection. These are so funny. I love the masculine stuff, but there's a tea bag, a teapot, and a corkscrew. I loved all the tools. <laughs> and my true crime junkie, an axe and a hatchet and a saw, and pliers and scissors and a hammer. All that's true crime stuff in my book. And then there's the legal justice system, you know, after the fact. I need this kit. I do. Doki Doki, if you're watching, we need Villainous Potion. Yes, we do. This is Maleficent's Purple. That's what we need. Yes, indeed. Just a little bit further down, there's an entire kit. So you can get every single piece of Villainous Potion in the ink, in the spray, in the pad, in the oxide, in the, you know, we, we gotta have that. More distressed crayons, different colors. There's a Boston. Dog stickers. I said dog stickers. It says animal stickers, but all I see are dogs. But there's a cat and a bunny and a little mousy thing. But all I see are dogs. Some pretty pinks, pretty black and whites, and some sepia vintage. There's the whole kit and caboodle. The oxide ink. Well, that's not the whole kit and caboodle either because there's paint. I think the whole kit and caboodle is about $40. I'll take one, just one d villainous potion ink pad or bray or whatever love his collage paper with the numbers love 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 that tim holtz tim holtz cling stamps the script some fun saying stamp set clear gesso comes in so handy takes the shine off these brand new stickers if you're putting a sticker on and it's super shiny in your vintage book it kind of looks out of place but if you take some clear gesso it'll knock that back stamperia oh love the stamperia papers there isn't oh they're so gorgeous this one's the purple all purple all gorgeous oh yanni kohani i'll even take the purple butterfly look how pretty double-sided speaking of this i recently purchased an all purple little kit and i mean little it's so much smaller than i expected i forgot about it i just found it in my room the other day i was going to return it but i'm way past the return date so now i got to deal with it i'll show you that one of these days all black and white washi tape this is fun with the ruler and the script and that looks like a, that black one looks kind of spacey outer out, outer spacey mm, sketches anatomy that looks like I love that raven with the top hat. He's just too cool for words. More villainous potion. What they look like to me are cake decorating stencils. If you've not thought about that and you want something different, think about cake decorating stencils. They're shaped like this, long and skinny, but they have way different patterns than the scrapbooking wall things because they're for cakes. And you know, I'm all about doing something different. This is just the one kit that I picked, leaf and flower, but there's bricks and butterflies and damask and flower and geometry and heart and leaf. More leaves. Seamless vertigo, seamless leaf, seamless geometry. So many choices and they would all oh i like that one they would all just be so much fun to play with more stamperia this one has i think this one has seahorses maybe maybe not i thought one of them had seahorses what is this one just as international just blues oh look how yummy and only ten dollars and seventy cents how much how what size is this eight by eight too tiny but still 
Natasha at Treasure Books had a Christmas something or other that she did and she glued some gold stamps in and that just set those pages alight. They were so cool. I'm not big into gold. I quite don't like gold, but I like this mixture. It looks like it's silver gold and what? What's the third? Oh, multi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only four left in stock. Hurry, hurry. Reminisce. Love my dog. Yes, indeed. Love my dog. Paw print, scrapbook, paper, dog, puppy, craft supplies. Black and white. I'm in. Julia at Camellia Crafts Design uses shimmer glue. Cosmic shimmer glue. I think in place of art glitter glue. I do believe it's quite a bit cheaper than art glitter glue. I myself have not yet used it, but would love to try. Another rainbow of washi tape for those color glue book mania days. A $32 pack of paper, but it's got a 180 sheet of all different kinds. Colors, every color, vintage, bright, and everything in between. Every color under the rainbow. Holy Hannah. Here's some 12 by 12 Stamperia. Owls, feathers, deer. What is this one called? Cosmos. Wow. Just wow. Puppy paw washi tape. I should just have this sent here every month. And I would use it on everything. More washi. Because you really can't ever have enough washi. I like the bigger stuff. The various sizes can be used for so many things. This big stuff you can wrap around tags and wrap around bookmarks and make wrapped up belly bands. Beautiful page edging. Beautiful tabs. So many things that you could do with a washi tape box like this. And just truckloads of different patterns. Bag up. Holy smackaroni. Look it. So I picked natural because I really like that one, but I love the astronomy, black and white, the moon, love it. Botanical, mushrooms, very happy about that. Ferns, grasses, yes please. Classic, sure. Insects and elephants, that's interesting. Poor elephant. And then there's little words and little phrases and little labels. Travel, rainbow. Just plain, but would be handy. And manuscript with dogs. I'm not sure about this tiny... Oh, where'd it go? Manuscript. Let's click on that. This could be a Boston ear right here on the corner. Right to the right of that beautiful dog face, there's an ear. And that could be a Boston. <laughs> that's how my brain works, in case anyone wants to know. That's what I see. Bookworm. Love it. Love, love the stamps. Love them all. Inside almost every one of these options is 10 more. And that is the end of this list. Still pretty long. Yeah, there's something for everyone in here. If you've not done it, maybe consider it. Start your own little wish list of things that you see other people using. Watch for them on your St. Vinny's list. Or, excuse me, your St. Vinny's shopping. You never know. I found some brand new Tim Holtz things at the St. Vinny's place. I found some brand new jelly brand mark making supplies at St. Vinny's. You never know. What you have to do is get the universe involved. Start making these lists and saying, putting it out there. I'd like this. Thanks. And somehow, some way, it eventually will show up for you. It's weird. It's a weird kind of fun magic. I hope you had fun with this. I hope you enjoyed doing something a little bit differently today. I know I enjoyed doing something a little bit differently today and showing you all of these way cool things that I've seen other people use and I have learned that exist from watching all these other people. I had no idea about the color dot markers or the different kind of sketch pens or how to work distressed crayons, but I'm willing to learn. Go love up your Beastlies. Go shop yourself a little bit. Have some fun. Give yourself permission to buy some new toys. Have a lovely crafty day. Mate at the lake. Out for now.